We all know that exercise and a diet rich in whole grains, lean meats and fruits and vegetables can have a positive impact on heart health. But there are other things that can impact your heart that you may not even think about. Diabetes is one of the biggest risk factors for cardiovascular disease and certainly uncontrolled diabetes is something that we're, we want to be really aggressive about managing. Dr. Bram Geller is a cardiologist with Maine Medical Center. He says it's a good idea for everyone to have their blood sugar levels checked and ideally he says that number should be around 100 or less. Another number you should know? Your cholesterol level. That's because high cholesterol is a risk factor for heart disease and stroke. And so knowing your numbers and taking ownership of it early is especially important. For uh, both men and women, a good cholesterol number is less than 130. For folks that have had a history of any kind of heart attack or stroke, we want that number definitely less than 100 and ideally less than 70. And when it comes to your blood pressure, Dr. Geller says 120 over 80 is typically where folks should be. But what about your resting heart rate? Anywhere between 60 and 100 is considered within normal range. Some people have heart rates in the 40s and 50s, and as long as they feel fine, that may be normal for them. What isn't exactly normal is an irregular heartbeat, known as atrial fibrillation. The symptoms people might experience when they have atrial fibrillation are things like lightheadedness or dizziness. Palpitations are very common, so people feel like their heart is racing or kind of beating out of control. According to Dr. Geller, if you experience any of those symptoms, you should talk to your doctor. That's because in some cases, AFib can lead to bigger issues like stroke. Another thing to talk to your doctor about? Your family history. It's better that we meet the patients early rather than waiting for them to have a cardiac event and then meeting them.